Accused of killing two sisters in a hit and run crash in the Bay Terrace's neighborhood on Mother's Day, made his first video appearance before a judge this afternoon. Friends and family of the victims were also there as well. And Fox 5 Sarah Allegri, she spoke to them as she shares their emotional message. Sarah. Yeah, Marie Andrew, a lot of raw emotion today from family members and loved ones, both in and outside of that courtroom, seeing the man in question, Tony Garcia, for the first time. And the family did ask to raise his bail from about $100,000 to $500,000. The judge did settle on around $250,000. So why it's not the outcome that they exactly wanted today. They say they still find hope and justice in this case. It protects you, but she got it with the Virgin Mary, too, and, you know, we're, we're religious, too. A reminder of hope lies on the wrist of Andrew Gutierrez, symbolic of his longing for justice after the sudden loss of his girlfriend, 23-year-old Jasmine Igueta Cano, and her 25-year-old sister, Elizabeth, who is also a mother. The two died in a hit-and-run early Mother's Day morning. I know she's in a better place right now. She's watching over us, too, and, like, what I want to say, like, no matter how much time passes, like, she'll always be my first love, too. 53-year-old Tony Garcia. Garcia was driving the F-150 that killed the two sisters and injured two others. After running away, he turned himself into police several hours later. Wednesday, Garcia appeared before a judge charged with two counts of vehicular manslaughter and pleaded not guilty. The people are actually requesting an increase in bail to $500,000. The judge settled on a $250,000 bail and ruled Garcia a flight risk. The deputy DA says both Elizabeth and Jasmine had the green light in that Garcia ran the red. It's still unclear if he was intoxicated. Whether it's DUI or not, um, a hit and run here, you clearly have people that were significantly injured, clearly people that may have even been deceased at the time, and to flee the scene, to be intoxicated in other cases, it's so serious, it's so tragic, and the fact that you have multiple families that can be genuinely affected, especially on a day like Mother's Day when one mother was in fact killed, it's heart-wrenching. And both in and out of the courtroom, a sobering moment for loved ones, recalling the loss of a friend, sister, and mother. I'm just so numb with everything that's going on right now. It's just heartbreaking how that guy just left left them there, you know, like, that's not, that's not human, you know, it's, it's very heartbreaking. Again, so many tears and emotional stories shared in and outside of this courtroom this afternoon. Now, if convicted of this crime, Garcia will face up to 13 years in prison. As for the victims and their family, they have set up a GoFundMe to help pay for funeral arrangements. We, of course, have that linked for you on our website. That's fox5sandiego.com. If you'd like to help, just click on that scene on tab. For now, that's the very latest from downtown. Sarah Allegre, Fox 5 News. All right, Sarah, start.